Now that we have an understanding of templates for creating a new project, let's take a look at how that actual project is set up. Here on our screen, we can see the basic layout of our project in the content browser in the bottom left and reflects how the project looks on our disk. If we were to right click on our content folder and choose show and explorer, it's going to find this project on our disk. Now we can see here that we have the content folder, which is where our content stored. But if we go back one, we can find the main folder here. We can see our project consists of folders and files. It's not just one item. So if you ever wanted to share your project, you would share your actual folder. And that's important to note because that makes it easy to back up or put on source control or give to someone else. Now the important parts in here are gonna be like our config folder to hold our configuration, our content folder, which represents the content for our project, and then our save folder, as well as the intro.u project, which is the name of our project and it contains project settings. If we go into our content folder, ArchViz project, you'll notice on the left-hand side, we have ArchViz project. And if we were to go into there, we're gonna find blueprints, geometry, levels, materials, and sequence. And if we were to look here, you'd see the same setup. So our content folder and our content in it matches the items on our disk. Now, if we were to do something with this project right now, none of the changes we have made would save automatically. As an example of this, I'm going to go ahead and quickly just change one of the existing files that came with our project and then close it out. And once we've closed it out, we'll see what happens when we try to close the project. Now, if I was to close the project, it's going to ask me, do you want to save anything? So one way of saving your changed items is trying to close your project and anything that has been changed since you last saved it, it will show. How do you identify things that need to be saved? Well, any item that needs to be saved will be indicated with an asterisk. So for example, this item here in our content browser that we changed has an asterisk. That means this item has been changed. Our level at the top is named exterior. If I was to go in, click on an item and move it, the item's position is changed, which means our level is changed, which means exterior at the top has an asterisk, and now it needs to be saved and changed. So what's another way of saving them? Well, on our content browser, we have the save all button that saves all of our modified assets. We can click that. It's going to ask us just like we were to close, what do we want to save? In this case, I don't want to save the changes to my game mode. I will uncheck it and tell it to save selected. Okay, what else can we do? If we were to move this item again, let's say we wanted to just save our map. We go to file and we could save current. This saves the current map. Or if we want to, we could do file save all, which is the same as our save all button here, and it'll save everything or you could just save all your levels. Okay, this is good, but how do we open our project back up after we've closed it and we wanna use it again? Well, let's take a look at that. I'm gonna close the project and we'll look at how to load it. Inside of your storage device, this is Windows, so this is my file explorer. I mentioned before you had your project directory, your project folder, and you had the U project file. If you want, you can double click on this and it will open up the project in the associated engine version, in this case, 5.0. And you can see here, it opens up the project and it loads it up and we'll be back right at the same spot we were before we closed it. Another way is you can use the project browser, which is what we use to create the actual project. So let's look at that. After relaunching the editor, we get access to our Unreal project browser, like we saw in our last video. And you'll notice we have one major change. The new project we created, we named it intro, is now available here in our recent projects. The nice thing is we could just simply open it from here and we'll be able to go right back into our project. Once our project is opened back up again, we're going to go ahead and look at the editor layout and its windows.